What's going on, YouTube family? We here, another video, and we're getting this girl cashed off her uh, ultrasound today. And you know, we've been waiting. She is on the sixth week, so you know, we're hoping we see some. Uh, she's been giving us the signs and stuff, but she ain't really been showing too much size. So there's a um, the sack, but no puppy inside. You see that one right there? Yeah. That's so show the sack right here, D. It's an empty sack right there. The little. And how can you tell it? That spot right there? Right here? Yeah, that's a sack. Okay, so that's one sack, y'all. And the puppy's not inside. Usually the puppy inside will be moving. So that's probably why she kind of shows a little bit. But she doesn't show completely. Okay. Let's turn her that way. So this side she took, but she has no top inside. So no pregnancy on that side. Mm -hmm. On this side. So, so right here. Don't get in this way. You can hold it up from right here. So it's just like this. This side, it shows like there might be another side, but no puppies. For six weeks, no puppies. But she took this one is too small, smaller than the other one. It's very hard to see that one right there. Mm -hmm. But it's empty. This side you can see that the sack is empty. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, did you do surgical insemination or for AI? Is it two AIs? Yeah, that one right there. See. Another empty sack. It might look big, but in reality, it's super small. Let me show you. Right there. You see how small? She is? Right there. So I made it small so you can see the actual size. Yeah, y'all. So that hurt most likely what he said. Two things, two sacks, no dog so far. She probably was too active. Maybe she couldn't hold the puppies. Could be many reasons, but no puppies inside. So whatever process you did, like AI, guess contesting, the timing, everything worked out fine. But she didn't hold the puppies. What usually causes that? It could be that she might be very active, she might be still too young, too playful. Yeah, she, uh, she's still, yeah, she's still very so uh, maybe the next the next breeding you do, just keep her uh, indoors, less. That's what I did with this one. I took her away because that's where I had her outside my other dog. Once we bred her, I was like, let me bring her inside so she won't be as active. And I brought, brought her inside. I work, you feel me, a nine to five. So, you know, I'm not there with her uh -huh. half the time. So she's been in the room all alone. Since yeah, that, this is the second active. time or the first time? What, uh, first breeding? For breeding? Okay. Yeah, this is our first breeding, second heat. Yeah. She about 15 months now. So. so you control her as much as you could? Which, yeah. as far as, yeah, like keeping an eye on her and, yeah, she was... But she was still jumping, running, yeah. getting the couch. Yeah. Maybe next time it's just... Because I have one same, but it's a Frenchie. And the first yeah. time she did the same thing. This time, I kept her um, in her kennel as much as I could because How many she did dogs the same do you have? thing. Right now, I only have boys and one girl. I retire most of my girls now. <laughs> I own I own some other dogs, but here in my house, I don't have boys. Oh. It's hard to have boys and girls. Hey, Cash. All right, well, thank you, Rosanna. I'm sending it over right now to 70. Appreciate you. Next time, yeah, uh, yeah I recommend you you, okay, girl? you keep your indoors more. Uh, okay. If you have a little cage or kennel, yeah. at least for the first 30 days, keep her there. Okay. Just take her out with the leash so you can control her movements. Okay. So she's not too playful. All right, y'all. Right. Right, uh, so, I mean, 
Y'all yeah, heard that. We're going to keep posting y'all, but listen, we finna, um, we going to hit y'all up. We finna go take a couple pictures real fast. Um, and we going to add them to the uh, video. So, see you on the next one. Two nasty vlogs. Peace.